Howdy, Eric. Hey. What's up, Brian? How's it going, Eric? That's a pretty picture of the Mesa you oh, got you there, are gonna, You are going to enjoy this. The day after Pete Kelsey conducted his photogrammetry scan of the ranch, he sent Eric all of his compiled data files for us to review. Well, I've got only about a billion data points. Of course, this comes out of Pete Kelsey's recent survey work. This is a three-dimensional model. It's point cloud data. What it is is individual points that have been located yeah. through a complex algorithm coming out of all these thousands of pictures that he's taken. So you take all those images, you stitch them together, and you get a three-dimensional model. That's incredible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I've been diving into this, and it turns out there are some very interesting artifacts showing up. Whoa. You might. I just saw Did you one. see it? Yeah. OK. In the sky. Oh, right there. Yes. Oh, weird. Yes. That looks like that's a whole bunch of points right there. Oh, it is. Well, what would cause it to do that if that's up in the air? That's the question. Look at this structure, this phantom structure that's sticking up in the sky. This is odd. I, I got to tell you, uh, there it wow, is. I think it was really prominent from here. It's like it's a, yeah, some sort of big feature. It looks more than 100 feet in the air. That's nuts. One way of interpreting this is to say that the drone did not uh, properly register its correct GPS position was, when it took the pictures. Were you thinking that? I was about to suggest that we've had such trouble with those drones and their GPS coordinates being yes. spoofed, hacked, or jammed. Yes. What if it thought it was somewhere else when it took those pictures? But it, you got tens of, correct. of positions that that should cancel itself out. Well, you'd have to have a lingering condition in that space that causes some sort of displacement, some phantom displacement of the reckoned position, the measured position of the drone in the sky. What's so strange here is, if the GPS was being spoofed for the whole survey, the final photogrammetry image would be a big blur. That's not what's happening at all. This one specific spot over the ranch is confusing the photogrammetry data and confusing it from a number of different angles, which makes me think there's something really strange about this particular area. Another interpretation might be if you did have some kind of translucent effect or object in the sky, then I suppose it might also cause the algorithm to perceive those pixels whose color comes from the ground as being you know, somewhere else up in the air. Has Pete seen this before? Did you ask him? That's the other important point. I've connected with Pete, and I've also spoken with the, the vendor of this software asking, is this common? And the answer that I've gotten is no. Really? This is not a common thing in the terrestrial surveys like this. Are there any other areas in his survey that had this sort of artifact to them? Yes. I want to show you something at another location that we've visited that is part of this survey. OK. OK. This is right above the petroglyph area, right? Yes. It is. Just on the edge of our property. Right. And you'll recognize the stone circle here. Yep. And the feature that I want to show you is actually very close to this stone circle. Oh, there you, you go. Tab? There you go. Right there. So let me spin us around. I notice a couple of things here. Well, now look at and, this. And you may observe the same thing yeah, I have. So line those two up, and where are they pointing? This feature, this artifact, the largest stone that was part of the, of the stone circle, and that prominent thing that's jutting up you know, further to the south. So you have three points in a line. Wow. 